Hi, I'm Bob Rubart from the Oracle Technology Network, and my guest today is Matt Brazier, co-author along with Nicholas Wright of the Oracle SOA Suite 11G Performance Tuning Cookbook from Pact Publishing. How are you today, Matt? Yeah, good, thanks. So, so before we talk about your book, uh, I'd like to learn a little bit about you. What do you do when you're not writing books? Okay, so I'm uh, the head of consulting at uh, C2B2, which is a a UK-based specialist middleware consulting company, and we focus on doing uh, high-end consulting on uh, middleware application stacks, so that's primarily uh, the Oracle application stacks and the JBoss stacks and that type of thing, Uh, and focusing on uh, high performance, high availability, scalability, that type of thing on these systems. And is that keeping you very busy these days? It is keeping us very busy, yes. Uh, uh, we've got lots going on, and it's conference season as well at the moment, so we're uh, uh, doing quite a few conferences and speaking engagements. Yeah, in fact, I want to ask you about that a little bit later, but but uh, I want, let's turn our attention to your book. Why this book and why now? What problem does this book seek to solve? Okay, so so Oracle Server Suite is, it's really key to most people's uh, service-oriented architecture uh, systems and, and designs and architectures. Uh, and it, it is a, a suite of applications, essentially. There's a number of different components in there. They have different uh, requirements. They work differently in uh, different customers. Different people use different parts of them. And so really we were seeking to kind of put together one book that brings together a lot of the best practices for all of those different uh, uh, techniques, all of the different uh, components, and provide some advice in a a simple format that is readable by uh, maybe some of the uh, organizations where the the middleware teams aren't expert middleware teams that come from an application server background. We often find we're working with teams that come from database DBA background. As we wanted to provide some tuning tips and advice in a format that was sort of a nice step-by-step format that was readable by them. And there isn't really anything that covers the, the kind of uh, bottom-up or all, whole stack approach to that, looking at JVM tuning, WebLogic tuning, and then tuning Sarah Suite itself. There's nothing or wasn't really anything that brought all of that together. So what did you learn in writing this book, what do you know now that you didn't know when you started writing this book? Uh, that it takes a lot more effort to write a book than I uh, <laughs> anticipated. <laughs> uh, so there's, there's probably quite a few things actually, because it makes you start to think about, well, okay, some of the things that we've done with other customers have been, we've done things this way or that way uh, because of those customer requirements. But then when you start to sit, sit down and write the book and you look at some of the components uh, that you didn't tune and do some research, find some best practices that other people have written, and you start to think, actually, other customers have different views. And so maybe some of these tuning things aren't as black and white as we originally thought. It's not always best to do it this way. Other people may be suggesting doing it a different way, and their reasons might be valid uh, just as much. So there's quite a few areas where, having uh, done some digging, we've kind of found uh counter arguments to some of the things that we considered best practices interesting other ways of doing things other opinions that uh, uh, were interesting and also we tried to capture in the book as well to make sure that it's a balanced uh, balanced view and that we bring off uh, performance tuning as kind of a, a process rather than just press these buttons and these order and everything will work yeah. Now you mentioned that uh, that you have a lot of speaking engagements. This is conference season. What what's on your calendar coming up? Okay. So uh, so last week we did the the DOAG, the German uh, Oracle User Group. Uh, we've got uh, Tech Thirteen coming up uh, next week. So I'm talking on the Tuesday at Tech Thirteen, and also taking part in a, a panel group. So that's the UK Oracle User Group uh, Middleware and Technologies Conference. Uh, so those are the main ones that uh, I've been involved in over the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, and then uh, we've had other consultants from TTB2 off to other places talking at uh, various other conferences. Can you, can you give us a, a kind of a, an elevator pitch version of the presentation that you'll be doing at Tech 13? 
isn't it? So it's it's very much related to the book. It's about a, a Oracle So Sweet uh, performance tuning. Although again, I try and go from the, uh, the a process that is uh, independent of, or not too tied into So Sweet. So uh, the focus really for the presentation is to look at a process by which you identify bottlenecks. I talk a bit about some of the tools that come with the JVM uh, or come with Server Suite that can be used to identify where bottlenecks are, how to work out what is causing those bottlenecks. Uh, and then once you've tuned them, the kind of the process that you go on where you continue tuning until you, uh, you find the right uh, level of performance. So the real message coming out is to to look for bottlenecks and tune bottlenecks rather than just randomly flipping buttons and hoping things go faster that way. Uh, and also to uh, to approach it methodically and scientifically and stop when you reach a, a performance goal because otherwise you can go on forever making things just a little bit faster. All right. Well, Matt, thanks for your time. I've been speaking with Matt Brazier, co-author of the Oracle Soa Suite 11G Performance Tuning Cookbook from Pact Publishing. You can find that at your favorite bookstore.